Diamonds are naturally occurring minerals composed of carbon atoms arranged in a crystal lattice structure. Known for their exceptional hardness and brilliance, diamonds are highly sought after gemstones. Diamonds are mined from various locations around the world, each with its unique geological characteristics. These regions are rich in diamond deposits, and extensive mining operations are carried out to extract these precious gems. In addition to natural diamond mining, advanced techniques in laboratory settings have made it possible to create diamonds artificially. Diamonds serve multiple purposes and hold significant value. They are primarily used in jewelry as investment assets and in industrial applications. Diamonds also contribute to scientific and technological advancements, symbolize prestige. Diamonds are formed deep within the Earth's mantle, approximately 150 to 200 kilometers below the surface. The formation process begins when carbon atoms are subjected to intense heat and pressure over millions of years. Carbon, the primary element of diamonds, is abundant in the Earth's crust. However, the specific conditions required for diamond formation are only present in the Earth's mantle, where temperatures reach over 1,000 degrees Celsius and pressures exceed 725,000 pounds per square inch. The journey of a diamond begins with carbon-rich materials, such as ancient organic matter and minerals containing carbon. These materials, often found in areas with volcanic activity or deep in the Earth's mantle, are exposed to extreme heat and pressure through geological processes. One common process for diamond formation is known as the cratonic root method. In this process, carbon is transported to the Earth's mantle through volcanic eruptions. The erupted materials, known as kimberlites or lamproids, contain diamond-bearing rocks called diamondiferous. These diamondiferous rocks contain small diamond crystals, often referred to as diamond seeds or diamond embryos. These seeds are usually less than a millimeter in size, but can grow into larger diamonds over time. As the diamondiferous rocks are brought to the Earth's surface through volcanic activity, they cool rapidly, preserving the diamond crystals within. These rocks, often found in cylindrical volcanic pipes called kimberlite or lamproid pipes, are the primary sources of diamonds for mining. Once the diamondiferous rocks are discovered, mining operations begin to extract the diamond-bearing material. This involves excavating the kimberlite or lamproid pipes and transporting the ore to processing facilities. At the processing facilities, the diamond-bearing ore undergoes several stages of crushing, grinding, and screening to separate the diamonds from the surrounding rocks and minerals. Dense media separation and X-ray technology are commonly used to further refine the separation process. After extraction, the rough diamonds are sorted based on their size, shape, and quality. Skilled gemologists and diamond cutters then evaluate the rough diamonds to determine the best way to cut and shape them for maximum brilliance and beauty. The cutting and shaping process is an art form in itself, involving precise measurements and calculations to optimize the diamond's sparkle and proportions. Different cuts, such as round brilliant, princess, emerald, and markwise, are chosen based on the characteristics of each rough diamond. Once the diamonds are cut and polished, they undergo a grading process to assess their quality based on the four CS, carat weight, color, clarity, and cut. Carat weight simply refers to the size or mass of the diamond. It's measured in carats, with one carat equaling 200 milligrams. The larger the diamond, the higher its carat weight, and generally, the more valuable it is. Moving on to color, diamonds are graded on a color scale from D to Z. D represents a colorless diamond, while Z indicates a diamond with a noticeable yellow or brown tint. The closer a diamond is to colorless, the higher its value. Graders use a set of master stones to compare and determine the diamond's color grade accurately. It's truly remarkable how even the slightest variation in color can impact a diamond's value. Next, we have clarity. Clarity refers to the presence of internal or external flaws within a diamond, known as inclusions and blemishes, respectively. Gemologists use microscopes to carefully inspect diamonds and assign a clarity grade. The Gemological Institute of America, GIA, uses a scale that ranges from flawless to included, with flawless being the highest grade. The fewer and less visible the inclusions, the higher the clarity, grade, and value of the diamond. Now, it's important to note that reputable gemological laboratories, such as the GIA, provide diamond grading reports. These reports are like a diamond's birth certificate, detailing its characteristics, including the 4CS and other factors like fluorescence and measurements. But their transformation doesn't stop there. After the diamonds have been cut and graded, 
they are ready to embark on a new phase, distribution and sale. These precious gemstones are transported worldwide to reach various markets and eventually find their way into the hands of consumers. Once the diamonds reach retailers, they are presented to potential buyers in a variety of settings, including jewelry stores, online platforms, and auctions. Diamonds hold great sentimental value and often become cherished family heirlooms, passed down from one generation to the next. Additionally, diamonds play a significant role in various industries, including technology and manufacturing. Their exceptional hardness and thermal conductivity make them ideal for cutting tools, drills, and even high-performance electronics. Diamonds have a rich and fascinating history. They were first discovered in India and held great spiritual significance. In medieval Europe, they became a symbol of wealth and power among the elite. The famous Kohinoor diamond has passed through many hands, including Indian and British rulers. The discovery of diamond deposits in Brazil and later in South Africa transformed the industry. Diamond cutting and polishing techniques evolved in the 19th and 20th centuries, enhancing their brilliance. Diamonds gained popularity as symbols of love and commitment through De Beers' marketing campaign. The issue of conflict diamonds led to initiatives like the Kimberley process. Today, diamonds are cherished for their beauty, durability, and symbolism in various industries. The most expensive diamond ever sold is the Pink Star. This 59.60 carat fancy vivid pink diamond fetched a record-breaking price of $71.2 million at auction in 2017. It is known for its stunning color, flawless clarity, and rarity. Pink diamonds of such intensity are extremely scarce, making the pink star a highly sought-after gemstone among collectors and investors worldwide. Jewelry designs are created through a combination of artistic creativity and technical expertise. Designers draw inspiration from various sources and use techniques like sketching, CAD software, and skilled craftsmanship to bring their ideas to life. Materials such as metals and gemstones are carefully selected to complement the design. The manufacturing process involves stages like shaping, stone setting, polishing, and finishing touches, resulting in beautiful and cherished pieces of jewelry. Diamonds are not only the hardest known substance on earth, but also one of the best conductors of heat. While diamonds are excellent at withstanding pressure and have a high melting point, they are also capable of conducting heat five times faster than copper. Diamonds are primarily mined in several countries across the globe. One of the major diamond-producing countries is Russia, which has vast diamond reserves in regions such as Siberia and the Arkhangelsk Blast. Botswana is another significant player in the diamond industry, with its diamond mines in the Arapa, Jewainand, and Ledlakan regions contributing significantly to global diamond supply. Canada is also known for its diamond mining operations, particularly in the Northwest Territories, where the Akati and Devik mines are located. Australia boasts the Argyle Mine, famous for its production of rare pink diamonds. South Africa has a rich history of diamond mining, and the Kimberley Mine in the Northern Cape Province is renowned for its diamond production. Other countries like Angola and Namibia are also notable diamond producers, with mining activities concentrated in areas such as Katoka and Lunda Nord in Angola and the Namib Desert in Namibia. These regions, along with many others, contribute to the global diamond supply chain.